On Monday, The Athletic reported, citing unnamed sources, that the Jets wanted to pivot back to Zach Wilson at quarterback, but that Wilson is reluctant to play. Robert Sala, coach of the Jets, addressed that with the media on Monday and made it clear that Zach Wilson will indeed play if his number is called. They still haven't announced who the starter will be. They cut Tim Boyle, by the way, on Tuesday and added Brett Rippon. Also on Tuesday, Aaron Rodgers, doing his weekly appearance with Pat McAfee, addressed the reporting on Zach Wilson supposedly quitting on the team. Here's what Rodgers had to say. When you uh, use sources and whether intentional or unintentional, try to assassinate someone's character like that report does for Zach, I have a, I have a real hard time with that. Basically saying that this Quit. This kid is, is quitting on the team and, and doesn't want to play and has given the middle finger to the organization. What is your impetus? What is your motivation to try and bury someone like that? Um, and that's a problem with the organization. You know, we need to get to the bottom of whatever this is coming from and put a stop to it privately uh, because there's no place in, the, in a winning culture where – and there's been, this is not the only time. There's been a bunch of other leaks. I think it's chicken shit, um, at its core. And, and uh, you know, I think it has no place in, in a winning organization to be. So he's got two problems here. He's got a problem with the reporting and a problem with the leaking of the information. He's not saying the reporting is incorrect. And I'll, I'll defer for now my comment on the right way to handle this based upon my own years of experience as a reporter, as an organization. You know, we're seeing for the first time some cracks there in the relationship between Rodgers and the organization. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Chris, he used the term winning organization. When were the Jets last a winning organization? I mean, dysfunctional teams do dysfunctional things. This is what the Jets do. And this is what happens in New York when media is swarming around these teams. That's one of the big differences between Green Bay and New York, Aaron. You come to New York, this is what happens. Everybody's talking to anybody. That's what happens. Don't act surprised and don't act like you're going to launch some Warren commission to get to the bottom of who leaked it. You're not going to find out who did it. No one's going to admit to it. And you're just going to make yourself frustrated trying to find out. Well, I mean, he, he said a lot of good things and they're, they're good for him for sticking up for Zach Wilson a little bit, right? You know, he, he makes a good point that, yeah, good organizations and other things like that don't happen. Right there, there's obviously somebody in the Jets organization that's been trying to assassinate Zach Wilson's character for the better part of two years. You know, in doing that, though, and what Aaron Rodgers said, he's also admitting that there's some reluctance by Zach Wilson to play in the football game. He's he's confirming the leak. Right. So he, he confirmed the leak in that, too, which I also want to go. Huh, that makes it a little harder on Zach Wilson. You're you're confirming there was a leak and other things that came out were a leak and they were, you know what I mean? So there was a, that was exposed a little bit. What I will say and and I like everything that Roger says is that, you know, what what I like Zach Wilson should be reluctant to go out and play. It the, the, the Zach Wilson assassination of character player whatever is through the roof. When Zach Wilson plays, I you, we listen to the games. Every play, every throw, it's dissect. Oh, oh, he threw the check down. Well, he could have thrown it over here, maybe. Tim Boyle plays and doesn't can't do jack diddly shit, and nobody dissects anything. They're nothing. He throws the ball into triple coverage. Everybody's like, well, there's a lot of problems on this Jets offense, right? So if I'm and and then of course nobody in the Jets really supports Zach Wilson really the way he should. So like. I understand him being reluctant. Well, they, let's let's throw him out there again, even though he's been the guy that gives you the best chance to win a football game. Let's throw him out there again so we can all blame him one more time and crap on him and nobody else will stick up for him. Like, Zach Wilson should be reluctant to go out there and play for the New York Jets. You know, good for him for saying something if he did say something. I think it's as simple as, and this is pieced together from what Robert Sala said on Monday – and just my understanding of what's happening, I think it's as simple as Zach Wilson venting. You know, maybe some teammates saying, hey, these other guys look like shit. They're going to come back to you at some point. And he's like, yeah, I'll tell, I'll tell yeah. them to stick it where the sun don't shine. Yeah, I, I and can it's see no that. different than the kind of 
of grousing that happens in any workplace. And it's one thing to say to your coworkers what you'll say to the boss when the boss comes to you and tells you to do that thing you're not going to do. The moment the boss comes to you and tells you to do that thing you're not going to do, you say, yes, sir, I'll do it right now. So, so that's why I have a problem with the idea of whoever overheard him say that running to someone and leaking it because I don't think he really meant it. If yeah, he I could said see that. it, right. I don't think he meant it. It's just a way to let off some steam. And he's a young kid still, you know, feeling the same way that he should be feeling based on what you're saying. Right. They're screwing me every chance they get. They're making me the fall guy. And now they want me to fall down again, knowing that I'm going to fall. Right. And then they're not going to help me get back up. Screw them. Right. Oh, you want me to play? Okay. I have guaranteed contract. Of course I'm going to play. Here's the issue with the reporting of this. And I have no journalism training, and it shows. But I do have one thing. I have 23 years of experience of doing this, and I have made mistakes, and I have learned from the mistakes. And I've sought out the opinions of others who have the training and the experience on how to do things properly. And one of the toughest things to discern, and it's one of the things I'm always sensitive to, what type of report requires you, compels you, to seek comment from the subject of the report before you report it. And there have been instances where highly respected reporters failed to do that. Reporting something negative about a team, a coach, a player, a GM, whoever, without first giving the subject of their report an opportunity to chime in. And the best advice I was ever given in this regard goes like this. If you're ever going to report that the Easter Bunny doesn't like chocolate, you better get a comment from the Easter Bunny. <laughs> and that applies here. Like if that. you're going to report that a football player doesn't want to play football, you better seek out that football player and give him an opportunity. And the people who are in this business, it's very easy to do. We all have available to us a directory of the players and the agents who represent them. And we have a report about Zach Wilson. We want to give you a chance to respond before we... We tweet it or post it or write it or Jets. Hey, Jets, Eric Gelfand, head spokesman. We have a report about Zach Wilson. We'd like to get his response before we do it. This is a situation that cries out for a fair opportunity for Zach Wilson to respond contemporaneously with the reporting, not when he has a press conference three days later, but before you report that the Easter Bunny doesn't like chocolate, you better damn well find out whether or not the Easter Bunny has something to say about it. That's the problem I have with the reporting, and that's something I've tried to learn over time. When to know? When to know? I better, I better get someone from the team. I better get in touch with the agent. I better get in touch with the player directly and give them a chance to respond to what I'm hearing. That's where the failure was, and that's yeah, where Aaron Rodgers, I, I think, there. has every right to be upset no doubt. with this appearance of assassina assassination of character. Oh, no, good on Rodgers. It, it just takes root, and yeah. it's gone, and it's gone. Right. Everybody just assumes the guy doesn't want to play now. Because everybody assumes it's accurate and true, and he didn't have a chance to respond at the time the report was put out. There. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.